What's up everybody, Max Digital here. And in this video, we're going to compare the OnePlus 9 Pro and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Let's go ahead and take a look. So both of these phones are super flagships and they both cost north of $1,000. They both feature 5G connectivity. The overall size, they both compare very similar, around 6.4 inches tall around uh, a little bit less than three inches wide and around 0.33 inches in uh, thickness for the weight the uh, oneplus 9 uh, pro is a little bit less than seven ounces um, eight ounces for the um, s21 ultra for the build quality you have a glass front glass back and aluminum frame for the oneplus 9 pro for the s21 ultra glass front gorilla glass victus glass back also victus and an aluminum frame so you both get similar build quality they both feature dual sim capabilities but on the uh, galaxy ultra you're getting uh, one of those sims is going to be an e-sim but they both offer the ability to um swap and add and to have two different sim cards and data plans or phone numbers at the same time both of these phones offer ip68 dust and water resistance so you can dunk them in water a little bonus on the s21 uh, ultra you get to um use a stylus with it but that's an added cost both have similar screen sizes the oneplus 9 is 6.7 inches Galaxy is 6.8 inches. You get fluid AMOLED display um, on the OnePlus 9 Pro at 120 hertz. You get dynamic AMOLED display with 120 hertz on the S21 Ultra. They both offer a similar uh, display resolutions at 1440. And both of them have uh, PPIs north of 500. For the operating system, they're both running Android 11, um, but the OnePlus 9 Pro has Oxygen OS, which is a close to stock version with its own tweaks. While the um, S21 Ultra has Samsung One UI, which also offers its own tweaks and is heavily customized, but with a lot of different options. Both phones are running the top-notch chipset of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, the best in class and they both offer the Adreno 660 for the GPU. For the internal storage, both of them have a base storage of 128 gigs. They do not offer uh, expandability via SD card slots. As for the RAM, you get lower RAM at eight gigs on the OnePlus 9 Pro versus the base RAM of 12 on the S21 Ultra. And you can max out at 12 gigs of RAM on the S, on the OnePlus 9 Pro at 12 gigs, and you get to max out at 16 gigs of RAM on the S21 Ultra. For the camera setup, the OnePlus Pro has a 48 megapixel main shooter, 8 megapixel telephoto lens, 50 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel depth sensor. For the S21 Ultra, you get a 108 megapixel main camera, 10 megapixel periscope telephoto, 10 megapixel regular telephoto, and 12 megapixel ultra wide. Both of these phones can record up to 8K. For these selfie cameras, the OnePlus has 16 megapixel shooter. Uh, you get a 40 megapixel shooter on the S21 Ultra. They differ in um, video quality, uh, you get 1080p on the OnePlus 4K uh, for the Galaxy. Neither of these phones have headphone jacks, but both do have stereo speakers. The OnePlus 9 Pro has 5.2 Bluetooth as well as 5.2 Bluetooth on the S21 Ultra. Both offer NFC support, which is mainly used for payments and they both offer USB type C for charging. As for the fingerprint sensor to unlock the device, uh, they both have under the display 
the OnePlus uses optical, the um, Samsung uses ultrasonic. The S21 Ultra has a bonus of having Samsung Dex, so you could connect the phone to a display and you'll have a desktop operating system from your phone. Moving on to battery, the OnePlus 9 Pro has a 4500 milliamp battery, while the S21 Ultra has a 5000 milliamp battery. Both offer fast charging, OnePlus has it at 65 watts, the Samsung has it at 25 watts. You get fast wireless charging on the OnePlus, you also get fast wireless charging on the uh, Galaxy except for overall fast charging, you get faster charging on the OnePlus. You have a bonus of reverse wireless charging on the Samsung. So what are my uh, thoughts after going through these specs? Well, let's just go run through them and just see um, what matters really. So the price is very expensive for both, um, but the S21 Ultra 5G has that distinction of being the best of the best and oneplus 9 pro is kind of on the outside looking in because it's trying to catch up and compete with the galaxies so oneplus used to be a company that was all about value and lower prices offering um, the same or better specs and flagships but now it's directly competing with the flagships and it just desperately shows that um, it's, it, it severely can't, especially if it's offering the same prices. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, similarities. It has the same build. They both have dual SIMs. They both have uh, dust and water resistance. The screens are both around the same quality, except I'm going to have to give it, um, you know, it's going to be hard to tell, but, you know, they have the same resolutions, same size and screen. The operating system flavor of stock versus Samsung, that's a personal um, decision. Uh, they both have the same processors, both have same GPU. So the heart and the meat and potatoes, they have the exact same thing. Even in the storage department for the base models, they have the same uh, 128 gigs starting. Except when you start paying for more money, you can max out at um, 16 gigs of RAM. but you do get 12 gigs on the base storage, so that's an advantage on the Samsung. In the camera department, um, you're going to have to give it to the Samsung uh, S21 Ultra. The OnePlus 9 Pro was heavily advertised with Hasselblad optics, but that's just, that, to me, that's a bunch of gimmicky stuff. It's all about branding. At the end of the day, the S21 Ultra will definitely take better pictures and videos, but both of them will will be good but since these are expensive super flagships you're gonna want the best of the best so the s21 has that for you they both offer 8k video which is overkill the selfie camera is way different you got way better selfie um, especially offering 4k on the s21 both have the same bluetooth um, they both have under display fingerprint readers the battery is even more on the S21 Ultra by 500 milliamps. Uh, the only real advantage that the um, S or the OnePlus 9 Pro has is that it has super crazy fast charging. So you could charge the phone in, uh, no, to 100% in around half an hour. And for uh, wireless fast charging, you could charge the whole phone 100% in around 43 minutes. So that's probably the only thing that really stands out to me on the OnePlus 9 Pro. But other than that, the S21 Ultra wins hands down. So um, that's been my comparison of the OnePlus 9 Pro versus the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Thanks for watching.